presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, the Maharaja's messenger returned to the Lamissary with the news that the Silent One had the map and that he had gone north into the Afghan hills. The Maharaja immediately made preparations to start after him. But before leaving, he attempted to question Bob McGuire. However, Bob acted as if he were still unconscious, and the Maharaja had to leave without getting the information he was after. Meanwhile, on the high bluff where Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, O.P. Watts, and Kolo have made camp, Jim and Lil examine the treasure map, which they had taken from the Silent One. They discovered that the map had been drawn upside down, and that which seemed to be north at the top was really south. Just as they made this discovery, Kolo came with the news that the Maharaja was approaching at the head of a column of men. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, and Kolo are on the high bluff north of the Lamissary. They have captured the Silent One. And now all three are watching the approach of the Maharaja and his men. Jim has a plan. Jim, you can't go down onto the trail and meet the Maharaja. He'd kill you on sight if he recognized you. Oh, maybe, but he won't recognize me, Lil. It'll be dark soon, and I'm going disguised as a silent one. Oh, it's crazy, Jim. Oh, no, it's not, Lil. You just wait and see. Cole and I will find a way. Why, uh, I'll put on the silent one's clothes and his mask and take his horse But, and Jim, I... you'll have to talk. Yes, some, but, but I'm going to fake injuries to my face. I'll tell the Maharaja I was held up. Uh, say that I met Jungle Jim. And just about then, he'll put a bullet through that stubborn head of yours. No, no, I don't think so, Lil. Well, look, it's nearly night. I'll get away with it, all right. The Maharaja will probably send me back to the Lamissary with one or two guards. But I don't see how you can... Oh, as soon as he gets out of sight, I'll give Cole the signal we always use. He'll distract the guards' attention, and then we'll jump them. Oh, it's too dangerous. It's too... our only chance, Lil. If I can get back to the Lamissary and free Bob and Connie, we can get the treasure and be back to Fort Jamrud before the Maharaja realizes what's happened. Well... Where do I come in on this plan? Well, I want you to stay here, Lil. And what about O.P.? Well, keep him here with you. He's up on the other end of the bluff, watching the road from the north. Let him stay there. He's happy as long as he thinks he's doing something. Uh, now, come on, Colo. It's time we were getting started. Yes, it's one. I'll be over before you start, Jim. Okay. Colo, we've got our job cut out for us. As soon as I leave, I want you to get the horses into the cave so there isn't a chance of their being spotted from the road. Kuro know what to do, Twan. All right. I'll leave things up to you. However, follow me as soon as you can after I start. You can circle the Maharaja's party. Kuro will be ready when you give signal, Twan. Oh, good. Now, well, here's the cave. Yes, the Twan. Is that you, Bradley? That's right, silent one. Good. I'm glad that you have come. I was a talk to you, Bradley. I'm sorry, silent one. I'll have to make it some other time. All right, Kuro. Strip our friend. I'll hold the gun on him until you finish. Oh. What are you going to do? Uh, borrow your clothes for a little while. <clears throat> Come on, hurry, Colo. Yes, it's one. <clears throat> Come on. Hold it. Uh, hold still. You'll never get away with this, brother. You think my men won't know you? Yeah. Here is turban. Uh, all right, Here Colo. is shirt, one. Fine. Let's have it. Uh, silent one, you might be interested in knowing that I'm going to meet your old friend, the Maharaja. Fool. He's Kido. If you would listen to me. Uh, perhaps when I get back. Right now, I have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Let's have the rest of this thing, Skolo. Here, here's one. Mm -hmm. Fine. Now, now, let's see. Oh, gosh, Colo. Well, I do about a mustache. I certainly haven't got time to grow one, that's sure. Maybe Colo draw one on with burnt stick, one. Say, not a bad idea, Colo. Get me some charcoal from that old fire over there. Yes, it's one. Here is burnt stick. That's fine. Now, hold still, one. Colo, pick. All right. There. Gosh. Yeah. I don't know, Colo. I hope it works. It's a good thing it's getting dark. Hold still. What? Have you got it fixed yet? Yeah. Hey. No. Well, no, it, it'd be a good one. Well, how's it look, Colo? Good one. Hmm. All right. Now, now let me have the mask that Silent One wears. Then we'll see what Lil thinks about it. Yes, it's one. That's it. Okay. Now tie him up again, Colo. Right. Here, Silent One. Yeah. You can uh, wear this blanket until I get back. I uh, I hope you weren't planning on going anywhere tonight. If I ever get free, you'll pay for this with your life, Bradley. It'll be a long time before you get free again, Silent One. You're going to prison. 
Tie him up good and tight, Colo. Yes, it's one. I'll be outside getting on his horse. Colo will be out in minutes, one. All right. Yes, it's one. Well, Lil, what do you say? Oh. Oh, Jim. Is that you? <laughs> Did I frighten you, Lil? Well, how do I look? <laughs> Why, it's perfect. <laughs> you do resemble the silent one. <laughs> Why, Lil, you ain't seen nothing yet. Hand me some of those red berries on the bush over there. Oh, do you mean these? Uh-huh. That's right. Now watch. These berries are filled with a juice as dark as blood. Well, what are you doing? Staining the shirt to make it look as though I'd been shot through the shoulder. <clears throat> there. See? Now, now I'm going to rub some on my face. Oh, you're going to pretend that you're injured. That's it, Lil. Then I won't have to talk very loud or very clearly. Hmm. There. Now. Now listen, how's this? <clears throat> I was ambushed, Heiner. A man called Jungle Jim. He took the map and went off. Oh, but Jim, that's wonderful. The first thing you know, you'll be turning after. <laughs> well, if I can act good enough to fool the Maharaj, I'll be satisfied, Lil. Oh, oh, here's the map. You take it and hide it somewhere. I don't want to have it on me. All right. Now, uh, now I've got to get started right away. I want to be down on the trail before the Maharaj sees me. Jim, be careful. Don't worry, Lil. I will. You can watch me and see what happens through the glasses. And then Colo... As soon as he's finished with the horses. I will. How soon will you be back, Jim? I'll be back just as soon as I've rescued Bob and Connie McGuire. As Jim rides to meet the Maharaja of Ebor, other events are taking place back in the now almost deserted Lamissary. Bob and Connie McGuire are in their cell planning to escape. Bob. Bob, did you hear that? Yes. Wait, Connie. I think there's someone coming. Oh. If it's one man alone, we'll... Connie, it is. Oh, Bob. Do you think we ought to risk it? Listen, it's our only chance, Connie. I'll lie here on the floor by the cell bars and pretend that I'm unconscious. You get the guard to come into the cell so that I can grab him. Well, I'll, I'll try, Bob. Get ready, die. He's coming this way. You'd better call him. All right, now. Lie down, Bob. God! God, come here, help me! What do you want? Oh, please, you've got to help me. My husband, he, he doesn't move. Come in and look at him. He's dying. Maharaja, come back soon. Oh, no, no, you've got to look at him now. Please say you will. No, Maharaja, say don't open door. Here, God, I'll give you this ring if you'll only come in and help me. It's a real diamond. Just look at it. Uh, let's see. Come in and get it. Oh, you've got to come in and look at my husband. He's dying. I'll give you this diamond ring just as soon as you help me. Give me a ring first. Here, I, I, I'll put it on the floor there. Then I'll come in and help me, and it's all yours. Go back, corner of cell. All right, I'll, I'll stand back here. I'll stay where you are. Hurry, please. Stay back. You can't have the ring yet. You, you've got to help my husband first. Him die. Can't help oh, him. Oh, no, no, no. Just look at him. <coughs> ah, there. He wanted to look at me for some time. Oh, we ought to gag him, Bob. Oh, never mind. He'll be out for at least an hour. Come, let's go. Oh, my ring. I, I almost forgot it. Oh, yes. Here, here it is, Connie. Thanks. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, where are we going, Bob? We're going to find Jungle Jim Bradley. <laughs> Meanwhile, as night falls, Jungle Jim rides out onto the plain to meet the Maharaja Vibor and his horsemen. He is disguised as the Silent One, and as he nears the Maharaja, he sways drunkenly in his saddle as if severely injured. There they are, just ahead. They'll see me in a minute now. If my disguise doesn't work, they'll be all up with me. Highness. Who is there? Do not, not show, Highness. Uh, so, it is you, silent one. Mercy, Highness. I am injured. Oh, dog. You thought you could double cross the Maharaja of Ivor, did you? Uh, it is not true, Highness. I I found the map and went for the jewels to bring them to you. You lie. Hand me that map or I'll shoot you now. It is gone, Highness. What? I. I was ambushed. What are you saying? I was ambushed by the man called Jungle Jim. He took them up. Where was this? Beyond the great bluff, Highness. Quickly, go after him. 
He went north. Uh, so Jungle Jim Bradley now has the map. Silent one, I'll take care of you later. Abu! Yes, Hannah. Take another man and bring this traitor back to the Lamasare. Yes, Hannah. The rest of you, follow me. After them. You will ride between us, Silent One. Wait. I must rest. What was that? There is someone watching us. See? Over there. Tongue. See who is there? All right, you. Throw up your hands. You are not the Silent One. No, you fools. I'm Jungle Jim Bradley. And keep quiet if you know what's good for you. Get the other one, Kolo. Keep your hands up, you. I'll take this gun of yours. Oh, don't shoot. I won't if you do what I tell you to. Are you all right, Colo? One, come two. Just a minute, Colo. I've got to take care of this man first. All right, you. Get down off your horse. Yes, master. That's it. Now, now march in front of me. Where are you, Colo? This way, Juan. Are you hurt? Here, Juan. What's the matter, Colo? Colo, all right. Man kicked by horse, Juan. Here, here is man. What? Well, this man is knocked out, Colo. What happened? Him start to run, Juan. Horse get frightened, kick him. Are you okay? Yes, it's one. Well, take the man's gun. Yeah, yeah that's it. His horse get away. Oh, never mind that, Colo. Here, keep that one covered. Yes, it's one. I'll see if I can bring this one around. All right, you, come on. Uh, come on, get uh, up. Don't shoot. Get don't up, shoot. you, get up, get up. Now, that's it. Now, both of you, stand over there. One, you will take prisoners? That's right, Colo. We'll put them both on one horse. All right, you two. Mount. Hey, come on, that's who we are. Keep them covered, Colo. You sit, Juan. That's it. Yeah. You go to Lamasari? That's right, Colo. You go back and tell Lil and Opie Watts that my plan worked. And I'll be back sometime tomorrow morning with Bob and Connie McGuire. <laughs> Well, it looks as if the tide has turned. Will Jungle Jim find Bob and Connie McGuire? And if he does, will our friends be able to locate the treasure before the Maharaja finds that he has been tricked? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Katzenhammer Kids. Jiggs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.